Um, okay, so my name is Nadia, and I'm the Chief Growth Officer at Vengage. April told me to make this talk about positioning, so I put positioning in the title. <laughs> Um, so today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about um, how to create content and position that content in order to drive targeted leads back to your site and talk a little bit about how we did that at Vengage. So with many companies, uh, when we're creating content or companies that are leveraging content marketing, one of the things or one of the goals that we have is typically when we're creating this content, you know, we want to do one of two things, which is to educate our users and acquire targeted leads. Does this resonate with anybody? Is anybody using content for a different thing? Nobody knows what content is. Great. Um, okay, so some of the things that we can do in order to hit those goals is, um, and in order to identify what type of content to create is, you know, talk to our users, figure out what some of their pain points are, uh, figure out what they're actually trying to achieve. Another thing is, you know, some keyword research to try to identify what do we want to be positioned for? What do we want as, uh, our product to be known as? Uh, and of course, distribution, right? Like how can we actually take that content and promote it to other people so that they can in turn find that content? Resonate with anybody? One person, okay, great. Uh, we're on to a good start. So what a lot of people do in this sense is they come up with the statement, which is, you know what, let's just throw a list of keywords together uh, and try to figure out what we want to be recognized for. And so they come up with these awesome words like content distribution platform or omni-channel distribution or, you know, content marketing solutions, all of these really fun buzzwords. Uh, and then what they also do is, you know, they spend a ton of money trying to be recognized for these, uh, for these keywords, up to $19 a click for content marketing solutions. But what's even more shocking is nobody's really searching for these terms, right? 50 people in a month are searching for content marketing solutions and we're paying $19 a click to get this person. So it seems a little bit ridiculous. And what's happening is we're throwing all of this money at terms like this in order to try to get more people when no one's searching for these terms uh, to come to our product or come to our solution that we've positioned as this awesome content marketing solution, right? So there's kind of got to be another way to drive marketing qualified leads or sales qualified leads at a higher volume and at a lower cost without, you know, chasing down these prospects. There must be a way to actually drive them to our site based on keywords that they're looking for. So this is actually what we focus on at Vengage. Uh, we actually don't spend too much money on ads. Uh, we're in the process of doing a little bit of PPC now in order to leverage the keywords that we are ranking for and, and just drive more traffic to them. But we focus on inbound traffic and we're driving over a million organic sessions a month. Now, I, I decided to do a little bit of research on stuff like conversion optimization, leads, visitor to lead conversion rates, et cetera. And according to a survey by Marketing Sherpa, about 7% of SaaS, or SaaS companies convert at about 7% as an average, right? So this is visitors to qualified leads. And then after that, about 2 to 5% of those people, of those leads, actually convert into sales for the company. And usually it takes about 84 days for that thing to happen. Now at Vengage, I, f I did mention that we focus on quantity of traffic, but we also don't forsake quality of traffic, right? We're still trying to focus on targeted acquisition. And we're actually succeeding at a general 10% visitor to lead conversion rate. So this is not just on main landing pages, this is across the whole site. And of those leads, we have a general conversion rate about 5% to sales, and then that takes about 30 days. So in other words, we're driving closer to about 40, 45,000 signups a week now. So these are qualified leads that come into the product and of roughly 1,000 upgrades or so in a week. Of course, this wasn't always the case. We changed our strategy a little bit here. I'm also going to go over five minutes, maybe seven minutes. Um, so we changed our strategy a little bit back in at the end of 2017. And we started to see a pretty big conversion rate there. And we started to see a lot of our content actually starting to drive better traffic, better leads. Of course, what we do is we focus on what we're good at, which is organic traffic and SEO, and identifying what keywords people are ranking for and what people are actually searching for. Uh, and in order for us to win at Google, there's really three main goals that we're going after. Th that is a higher domain authority, 
higher conversions and more traffic. For people who are not familiar with the ins and outs of SEO, these are essentially the things that you wanna win at. Now, a lot of content marketers or a lot of marketers, what they'll do is they'll say, okay, great, I'm trying to achieve all of these things. Let me create that one magical unicorn piece of content and I'll successfully dominate in all of these awesome goals that I have for myself. And of course, like most of our dreams and goals, this never comes to fruition. I wanted to be an actor, but now I'm a marketer. <laughs> So maybe instead what we should actually do is break those goals into separate individual goals uh, and target each of them individually. Now you might be wondering, how is that going to get me my sales? Well, here's a little bit of an overview of some of our content. We have our sales page over here. So this is a page that actually drives most of our conversions. But if you can take a look, not a lot of backlinks, not a lot of traffic. However, we have other content that's focused on driving a lot of backlinks and building authority. And we have other content that's focused on driving a lot of traffic. And now what we do is we have something that looks kind of like this, where we have a bunch of authority focused on building brand awareness that we can then loop into building content that has better traffic that we can then funnel into content that's a little bit more specific and then funnel back down into our sales. So even though we have a content distribution solution or whatever the word is, maybe people aren't looking for that specifically because they don't know what that is because it's a term you made up. Maybe they're looking for better blog ideas or how to promote my blog or something like that, that we can then funnel them into, hey, maybe you need the solution to help you promote your blog, et cetera. So in a nutshell, what I'm really trying to say is one thing that you should do is pay attention to your audience. Try to understand and talk to them. Maybe what they're searching for is not necessarily what you want. And break down those goals to focus on them individually. And then use that content to guide your audience to the solution that will actually be what you're trying to sell. And that's all the time I have. So if you have any questions, tweet at me and I'll send you a link for more.